this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on, let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code. Woof, it's Windows Pro time. Righto, tell the other champs, are you excited? Because I am excited because Microsoft are going to be announcing all their new products this Wednesday or tomorrow. And we already know we got some leaks. Fantastic. We got some leaks. So we know pretty much everything other than this actual silicon that goes inside them. And we actually don't know what the connections are, whether they're USB-C or they are actually Thunderbolt. Now, when it comes to these Microsoft products, Microsoft makes some awesome laptops. If you're considering a laptop, definitely get them. They're well priced except for the surface book the surface book is expensive but the surface laptop and the surface pro are really well priced they're great devices they've got the three by two display you know tall aspect ratio great battery life great quality they are sort of like the macbook pro of the sort of windows ecosystem and maybe the xps line is the same sort of thing they've got a lot of discounts on the current ones so i'll leave links in the description to the current models because they're worth picking up really 10th generation unless you get nice like probably not that much of a big deal unless you get the i7 with the six core which i'll talk about in a sec so i'm a big fan of these products i have a surface pro 3 and although i don't think the surface is right for me the surface laptop i could definitely rock and the surface book i could rock as well so they're great devices now what do we know well here's a press image here we can see there surface 3 laptop there's going to be two versions of this there's going to be 15 and a 13 inch of the surface laptop so that's awesome so i'll get into the surface laptops in a sec and the surface pro but this will probably be the star of the show and they've also got a two screen laptop as well that may be a thing so whether we see a you know a folding device or a dual screen sort of laptop we will see but these are the leaks we know 100 percent for sure now if you look at this this is super thin this is like ipad sort of thin right and you can have a look here here's the type cover and if you have a look right about there that's where the pen's going to go. You've got a new pen as well. Now, this is an ARM processor going in this thing. Now, the Surface Pro 6 or 7, sorry, is going to be thicker. It's going to be pretty much the same design as the last one. This one's sort of all new. You can see here the volume rocker on the side. You can see how thin it is. Now, this is not made for me. It's not something I'm interested in, but a lot of people are interested in it because it's so thin and light. You're always connected because you've got cellular data built in using ARM processor killer battery life and if you're just doing you know productivity stuff word excel web surf and email all that sort of stuff you know this will do it fine this will do no problems and you're going to get the killer battery life it's going to be ultra it's going to be like probably 600 grams or something like maybe even 500 grams it's going to be like an ipad basically but for me personally i'll probably get an ipad over this even though I probably wouldn't get both because I'm not really interested in a laptop that doesn't perform very well with, you know, video editing or, you know, Photoshop or stuff like that because this will be running in emulation. This is it here again. You can see how super thin and light it is. And again, you can see right there, that seems to be where the pen's going to go. So a new type cover, super thin and light, always connected. You know who you are if you want this. For me, it's you know it doesn't interest me but a lot of people are very interested in this and you can see here two usb c's they won't be thunderbolt because it is running arm so uh, thunderbolt definitely no uh, you've got a camera on the back of there you've got the volume rocker etc but you can see how super thin this is uh, this is nice and it does look nice now this one here is the regular surface pro 7 so it's basically like the 6 but it'll be updated but there's one thing you've got to see here and you can see it right there oh you'll see it in another picture I'll, I'll get a better picture and here you can see here boom usb-c so no display port we have usb-c you have the connector here the normal connector i like that they've kept that because that you know you can connect your power to that and it pulls away with magnets so you're not going to you know break your you know laptop or whatever if you trip over it etc hopefully you can charge through the usb-c people in the know are saying it's not thunderbolt 3 which is a bit disappointing to me unless they use ice lake cpus now this is going to be using ice lake or comet lake if it loses comet lake you'll be able to get a six core i7 but the graphics will be weak if it has ice lake you have a quad core you'll have substantially better graphics i hope it is ice lake unless this is the thunderbolt 3 if it's the thunderbolt 3 
give me the comet lake if it's not a thunderbolt 3 it's only usb type c give me the ice lake because i want the good graphics in this if they're saying it's not thunderbolt 3 i doubt they're going to use ice lake in this and i bet you it's probably going to have comet lake time, only time will tell it's coming out very soon here you can see the new pen that looks pretty cool it looks very much like the pencil now doesn't it you know and they've gone away with those sort of old sort of nibs that looks very much like the apple pencil now so that should be improved it should be better hopefully the displays are better they got better touch sensitivity and they sort of catch up to the ipads in that regard and yeah this one here is the arm version you can see by the slim bezels and how thin and light it is compared to say that last one which is your traditional surface product it hasn't changed much there's not that much difference from the surface pro 3 never mind uh, the surface pro 6 so yeah there's not much change there but we also have a laptop and apparently this laptop will not have the alcatara finish so we'll have normal metal finish on the top they may have an alcatara option but this should be metal on the top here you might get that beautiful matte black slim bezels this will come in 15 and 13 inch apparently that's how it's going to go we can see the surface connector there which is just you know your normal power it's supposed to have usb-c as well so that's going to be good i wish it was thunderbolt probably won't be if it doesn't have thunderbolt please be ice lake please 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 be ice lake because you can't hook up an eGPU. so having a comet lake an extra cause you know it's a productivity machine if you don't have ice lake it's not going to have good graphics and you won't be able to connect externally to graphics so um yeah it sort of pins it in the corner as a productivity machine rather than being a video editor and content creation machine which it could be if it was using ice lake or had thunderbolt 3. i'm really excited for these products there's been no leaks of the new surface book if there is a new surface book we'll see in a couple of days stay tuned to my channel please subscribe i will be reviewing all these um so i can't wait to get my hands on them and excited to go to sydney too and see what oh i nearly said the company i don't think i'm allowed to say you'll find out at the end of the week catch you next one guys tally ho